Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of Nurse Talk this year. Our guest in this episode is Nurse April who is working sa Neuro ICU with a side hustle sa rehab and her first work in America was in long-term care or LTAC and she's based in Blue Ash, Ohio. We're going to talk about her American journey, difficult day at work, nurse-patient ratio, and other nursing-related stuff. Nurses, let's welcome Nurse April Villarta. April, welcome to the show. Hi! Hi, everyone! Hi. Thanks for inviting me, Dan. <laughs> April, kumusta? Okay naman. Okay naman. Okay. Thank you for guessing to the show. Ah. Grabe, nag-message ako sa'yo. Ang bilis mo mag-reply. You know, ikaw ang first guest natin this year. <laughs> Fairness. Uh, I'm very willing to help then kasi yun yung motive mo. So, I really wanted to collaborate with someone like Okay, to those nurses watching, no, you guys have to check out her YouTube channel no, to have a glimpse of uh, life of a nurse in living in Ohio. I'll link ko na lang yung um, link sa YouTube channel niya sa description box down below. So April, um, when did you arrive in America and were you practicing nursing ba before you migrated there? Okay, uh, first question, uh, we arrived here last year of January as well. January, fourth week, third week to fourth week. So it's almost our first year here in U.S. And then uh, before I went here, I was working in uh, Philippine General Hospital for almost uh, roughly 13 to 14 years. Hello, <laughs> baby boy. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay, may interview si Mami. <laughs> Ayun. Ayan. Hello. <laughs> so, grabe. 13 years sa PGH and then your first work was sa LTAC, di ba? So, April, paano mo i-compare yun? Saan mas mahirap? Sa LTAC or yung sa PGH? Um, Honestly, nung pumunta ako dito and then um, for a while, Then, uh, punta nga ako sa long-term acute care. It was kind of difficult for me kasi yung long-term acute care is para siyang ICU at the same time stable but not stable. So, para siyang in the middle. So, it was very challenging for me kasi akala ko tough na ako from PGH. <laughs> Tapos, it was really hard. Uh, We're handling like five patients who are vented, intubated and vented. So they are like weaning from ventilator bago sila pumunta sa mga long-term care. So it was hard. Hagarda talaga. Talagang naubos lahat ng ganda ko kung meron <laughs> Ay. Wow, pero five lang, no? Grabe, five, okay. It was hard kasi sa, uh, sa Philippines nga, I was handling like 20 patients. So, feeling ko talaga, nung po, half na ako, carry ko oh. na yun. So, um, the demands here in US is entirely different. Their demands, um, plus yung mga supplies, yung mga equipments, it would be a, uh, parang uh, another dimension. So, it was really hard for me, honestly. Grabe. And then, from LTAC to Neuro ICU, parang paano ka nakapag-shift from facility to hospital? I mean, um, were there additional trainings ba? And gano'ng katagal yung shadowing mo there? Ganun? Mm-hmm. Um, actually, uh, from LTAC, nag-apply ako ng... Nagharap ako ng PRN job. So, I was applying for another LTAC facility. Kasi feeling ko yun na specialty ko when I arrived here, eh. So, when I was applying on an LTAC facility, hindi pala siya LTAC facility, rehab facility pala siya. So, I was asking for ventilator or intubated patients. Parang sabi nila, walang ganun. Stable na yung mga patients nito. So, it was like an accident, pero it was a good accident. Kasi I, I love rehab. So far, stable na yung mga patients. Tapos, um... Siyempre, namimiss ko pa rin yung specialty ko talaga, mag-work sa hospital. I applied to uh, a big hospital wherein they have neuro ICU. Ayun, uh, ang training nila sa akin is, sa uh, neuro ICU, ang training nila sa akin is 8 months. Usually lahat naman 8, 8 months, sorry, 8 weeks yung orientation phases. 
ng bawat facilities dito and hospitals. Nahirapan ka ba makapasok? Kasi parang, do they consider ba yung, yung, yung nandyan ka na and then nag-apply ka sa hospital, di, kinonsider ba nila yung experience mo sa um, Philippines? Mm, luckily, yes. Uh, kinoconsider nila yung experience ko from the Philippines. And they were really amazed kasi nga medyo, medyo okay na yung experience ko from the Philippines regarding neuro. So they were like looking for neuro talaga. So they were counting it so far. But uh, there's a difference between a travel nurse. Sa travel nurse, uh, what they are counting is yung experience mo here in US. Mm, mm, okay, okay. And what's your typical day at work now sa ICU from start of the shift hanggang sa matapos? Kasi alam kong marami ng nurses parang nag-iisip sila, parang same lang din ba yung procedures? Or paano ba naiba yung practice sa ICU dyan sa States compared sa Philippines? Um, dito, super extensive talaga dito. I mean, every shift, may report ka sa mga doctors, sa sa pharmacies, sa lahat ng collaboration mo sa hospital. Nurses yung magre-report kung ano yung gagawin mo sa pasyente, kung ano yung uh, abnormality sa mga labs niya or anything. Nurses yung parang leader. Ikaw yung may say about dun sa patient. So, It was really hard for me kasi tinggal tayo so it's kind of hard na think critically and mag mag speak ka bilingual. Mm-hmm. The hard and then ang pinaka first na ginagawa namin sa araw namin is nagre-read kami ng ECG. Nagse-send kami ng ECG prior to starting ng aming work. So everything is parang Intense talaga. <laughs> And then, ilan yung nurse patient ratio nyo doon sa neuro ICU? Umaabot kami ng 3 din. One is to three. One is to Almost three. the same din sa Philippines. Mm-hmm. And is it um eight hour shift? 12 hour shifts? Uh, here in US, 12 hour shift. So yung um side hustle mo sa rehab, every weekend ba siya? Hindi. Um, kung available ako, nagpipick up ako talaga doon. Um, Lata yung offer nila na bonus. Dito kasi mahilig sila magbigay ng bonus talaga. Every shift, every pick up. So kung maganda yung offer, why not? Talaga. <laughs> <laughs> How about ano, um, some funny moments at work? Funny moments? <laughs> oh, may funny moments. Parang puro struggle. Funny moments. <laughs> I had an experience na ibang, iba't iba yung makakasama mo. Like, I was, noong una ko sa ELTA, diverse talaga yung, yung culture dito. But now, when I went to the hospital, medyo isa lang yung, isa lang yung culture na napuntahan ko. So, I don't know if it's funny, but everyone assumes that I was Chinese. <laughs> So, um, it wasn't actually a funny story. Everyone assumes I was, and they were like talking about COVID and Chinese, and that's so ako. <laughs> I felt so awkward about it. So, it, it's not a funny story. Sorry. Wala akong maisip. How about yung, ano, yung rehab mo, yung side hustle mo? Um, ano yung typical day at work mo naman doon? So sa rehab, since stable na nga yung mga patients, tapos yung mga cases namin doon like dementia, Parkinson's, uh, more on oral medications lang kami. Mm-hmm. Wala. So, uh, technically, nag-full time muna ako doon bago ako nag-apply sa Neuro ICU. And then to be honest, ah. may board ako. Naghanap ako ng, naghanap man ako ng IV antibiotics, um, isa suction for anyone. <laughs> So, kayo ulit, bumalik ulit ako sa hospital. So, oh, okay. medyo steady, steady state na sa rehab. Pero ang ratio is medyo 1 is to 7, 1 is to 8. Mm. But they are mm. all steady. Okay. Okay. And in those three jobs, April, parang which is your favorite? Which has the highest pay? And sorry, ano kaya yung pinaka-least favorite mo? <laughs> um... Siyempre, least favorite ko ang LTAC. <laughs> Hindi ko siya i Kung ma-offeran kayo ng LTAC, huwag na lang, please. Kailangan nyo uh-huh. ng 
sikat ng katawan kasi more on buhatan talaga. Oh. Eh <laughs> usually kapag nag CPR tumutungtong talaga ako sa kama. <laughs> Ayun. Tapos um honestly favorite ko ang rehab. Kasi napa-practice ko yung English ko eh. Nakikipag-usap ako <laughs> <doon> sa mga <laughs> Tapos Ayusa. may interact siya. Saka ano pa ba? Mababait kasi yung mga kasama ko dun eh. Diverse din kasi yung kasama ko dun mm-hmm. sa Ria. Uh, although ako lang yung Asian, uh-huh. talaga siya, equally divided talaga siya. May Black and Americans mm-hmm. talaga. And then, your IC2, ang dami kasing learning din. So, medyo ano naman, pantay naman yung rehab and your ICU. Yung your ICU, ang daming learning, saka it helps me to be um, independent, it helps mm-hmm. me to be Uh, magkaroon ng critical <laughs> Can we talk about ano, um, salary? Sure. Yep. Okay. Kahit range lang ah. Um, kasi marami akong nakausap na nurses no, na yung bago dating lang and yung kwento nila, um, they do overtime no, just to make the ends meet lalo na pag may dala silang family. So, Ay, yeah. yun nga eh. Um, anong ano? Ano ba ang dapat question ko doon? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ano bang yeah. usually starting salary ng, um, for example, yun nag-work ka sa um, hospital na, parang since they considered your um, experience sa Philippines, so hindi na entry level yung ano mo dun, no? yung rate mo? Oo, oh, hindi. Hindi, nila, hindi ako um, nila pin- level. Binilang nila yung 10-year plus experience daw. So doon na ako nakabracket. I started with an agency when uh-huh. I went here. So, of course, yung pay ko is not Uh, it's partially only. So, mm-hmm. I didn't get a uh, full rate na binibigay ng hospital or facility. So, it's, if you want the real rate, it's around like 25 plus. Mm-hmm. 25. Mm-hmm. So, it, was, it wasn't really enough. Uh-huh. Especially for me na may family ng dala kasi tatlo yung dependence ko eh. So, that's the reason why I find a PRN job. So when I went to the PRN job, uh, they offered me decently, like it was double. Yung rate Ayaga. ko from it was double. Lakay yeah. na double, ah. wow. Tapos they gave me all the benefits like the night diff, which I didn't have before. So hindi ko alam na may night diff paladi. <laughs> oh. I mean, pero hindi ko alam na four dollar. ang night diff per hour. So, it was, malaki siya, di ba? Oo, oh, malaki nga nun. Hindi ko siya alam before. So, nung nalaman ko na it's a standard na $4 per hour ang night diff, ayun eh, talaga. I have decided na medyo mag-full time dun sa, mm-hmm. sa uh, mas good yung compensation. Uh, uh. And then, when I went to neuro ICU nung hospital, It's a private hospital kasi. Medyo ang baba ng offer nila sa akin. Mababa lang naman ng one dollar. Tapos, dito kasi sa US, pwede mong i-contest talaga yung rate mo. Honestly. Yun yung... So, sinabi ko, hindi na kasi ko. It's either, I will turn it down or tatanggapin na yung offer nila sa akin. Kasi hindi na yan yung, hindi na yan yung rate na sinisimulan ko. So, after... a day, tumawag sila sa akin. In-increase nila. Binigay nila yung rate na meron ako sa rin. Ang galing. Wow. Yeah. Dito, ano uh, talaga, mapaglalaban mo yung dapat mo ipaglalaban. <laughs> <laughs> Yan ang gusto natin. <laughs> April, um, can you share us, since my family ka, um, Para sa mga migrating pa lang there, ano yung tingin mong ideal pocket money para sa um, immigrant nurse na may dalang family? Uh, depends sa living mo yan eh. Pero, ilalagay ko na lang sa sarili ko. When we went here, ang baon namin is 3,000 US dollars lang. Hmm. But the age were like telling us na magdala ng mga 14,000. Grabe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, hindi talaga. Hindi talaga kaya. thousand lang yung dala ko. So, we live with within our means. Uh, um, namuhay lang talaga kami ng simple. And dumating kami sa point talaga na kung ano lang yung libre, yun yung kukunin namin. Kung minsan nga meron 
gamit sa basurahan. <laughs> Kinukuha namin talaga yun kasi pansamantala ba kesa bumili kasi ang hirap talaga magsimula honestly kasi what if mag bata what if may mangyaring hindi maganda oh. eh yung 3000 maliit lang talaga yun here in US. Yes. So for me n- ano naman okay naman kami sa 3000 nakaalpas naman kami doon and then nakaipon naman kami may eventually. So, I can suggest naman na 3,000 is good enough so far for a family of four. Okay. Okay. Marami din yung katanong kasi tungkol doon eh. <laughs> oh, true. Second to the last question, April. Um, What's it like living in Blue Ash, Ohio? Ako personally, I haven't been there. Um, And ano ba yung mga usually na mga family activities nyo dyan during your day offs? Mm-hmm. Uh, dito sa Blue Ash, medyo expensive area siya. <laughs> Kasi nandito yung district uh, schools na magaganda talaga and then yung safety talaga yung binabayaran dito. Uh, um, safe siya kasi may mga part kasi ng Ohio or Cincinnati na hindi masyadong safe. But here in Blue Ash, um, expensive ng konti yung rent, yung houses. Uh-huh. Safety itself, uh, sulit naman siya. So, here in Blue Ash, meron kaming recreation, uh, recreational places kung saan may mga activities silang ino-offer sa amin like swimming, um, gym, and classes for the kids. So, usually kapag day, pumunta lang kami doon or sa mga parks dito. Magaganda din yung parks dito sa Blue Ash. Mm-hmm. April, I know a lot of nurses are waiting for their I-140 to be approved no and their interview dates sa embassy. Um para sa iyo, ano yung mga tips mo para sa mga looking forward to migrate there, both, both in clinicals and American life? Um clinically, uh kailangan talaga ng ma- um, extensive na experience kasi magiging challenging talaga ang bawat aspect here kasi it's a different dimension talaga. Kumbaga will learn the computer system. You will oh. learn other equipments that are barely new to your eyes. So, um, hindi ko naman panakot, no? Kasi Americans are really, they are very willing to train everyone. Mahilig train, ang dami nilang training, ang dami nilang certificates. So, supportive naman sila sa aspect na yan. And then, uh, when you went here, kailangan talaga ng tibay ng loob. Kasi at some point of your life, you will feel um, a lot of struggles. Like, uh, mahirap talagang mag-adjust dahil may culture shock talaga. Kahit sabihin mong hindi, meron talaga. It's a really different culture <laughs> that you will be here. And then, racism, it happens. Kahit nung pumunta ako dito, sabi ko wala, dinedenay ko, sinasabi ko diverse ang Cincinnati, Ohio. But at some point, meron talaga, meron at meron talaga na sad but true na sometimes Asians are the minority here. I don't know in other states but I that on some point of my life here in uh, Cincinnati. But now, uh, I just don't care. I just go to work and uh, we just live our life. Okay. There you go, everyone. April, thank you so much for sharing your story. I know madami kina inspire and maraming may excite no? mag-work sa America. Isa na ako doon. Uh, nurses, thank you for watching. Please take care and see you guys in the next video. Bye.